Today is April 15th. And this is your WCMS Morning News. Today's lunch will be oven baked catfish with seasoned corn, pinto beans, a roll, baby carrots, and fruit. Happy birthday to True Skeleton. Attention all 8th graders. The 8th grade dance will be on Friday, May 13th from 7 to 10 p.m. The cost is $20 for a single ticket and $30 for a couple ticket. If you want to come, you have to buy tickets before May 6th. No tickets will be sold after May 6th and tickets are not refundable. Students who have OSS or two days of ISS after May 1st will not be able able to come, so be sure to be on your best behavior. Remember, all schools rules still apply and you have to show your ID to get into school dance. Are you looking for something to do over the summer? If so, you should check out the University of South Carolina summer camps. Camps last one week each are happening all long summer. There are a variety of camps available. Please see Ms. Smith in the guidance office if you would like to know more information. It is time for our yearbooks. The yearbook is only $20. Please come by the library and order your yearbooks. Attention all 6th grade and 7th graders. Tryouts for next year's Carver Cheerleading Squad will be April 21st and April 22nd. You must come both days of tryouts. Please see Ms. Smith in the Media Center to get an information packet and sign up for tryouts. Attention all 7th and 8th graders. Spring football practice for the high school has started. A bus will pick you up from up here and take you to a lot for practice. All football players need to attend. The varsity coaching staff from the high school will be leading the practice. Please see Coach Nelson if you have any questions. Monitor counters because the book fair it will be here in two weeks. It is, it will be a buy one get one fair, so you can you can get a free book with every book purchase. For every book you buy, you will be entering a grand drawing prize. The more books you buy, the more chances you have to win awesome prizes. Here's a sneak peek of a book that will be here in a book fair. I never thought move into a haunted house at 16. It's creepy. I prefer... Cryptastic. The Haunting of Sunshine Girl started on YouTube and then became a series of books and is soon going to be a TV show. Sunshine, the main character, is named because she is sunny and bright, even if things around her are scary. Shortly after moving into this creepy house, some strange things started to happen. I decided to document it, put up a few videos on YouTube, and lo and behold, people kind of liked it. And now, people are really watching, and it's doing quite well. But don't worry, if you haven't watched any of the videos, the book will still make sense. In Sunshine's Adventures, she has a best friend. His name is Nolan, and people think he's cute. And also an art teacher, Victoria, who's very helpful, but extremely odd. The book is kind of scary. Sunshine takes photographs of the ghosts in her house to prove to her mom that it's actually happening. Her mom may not believe her, but Nolan does. With Nolan's expert help, they find out there's a man at a university who can help them figure out exactly what Sunshine is, which is a Luciche. Luciche. Wait, you don't know what a Luciche is? Hmm, you should read the book. If you want to pick up your very own copy of The Haunting of Sunshine Girl, you could do it at your Scholastic Book Fair. We'll also have, have new books in the library.
check out one of these titles. There are only seven weeks of school before summer break. Be sure to keep up your roaring behaviors to help your team get ahead. Last we'll have our week in review. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful Wildcat Day.